Hey, welcome back to the channel. How the devil are you? Okay, so I just wanted to catch up on uh, the Echo 4th Gen. Can you see it there? There we are, okay. And uh, a few weeks ago, about a month ago, I did, re did a review on it, comparing it to the other Echo speakers and, and uh, seeing how fast it was because of this new AZ1 Neural Edge processing chip, okay? That Amazon had been bragging about since its launch. And I found that it wasn't any faster than the old Echoes. And actually, in, some, in most cases, it turned out to put a little bit slower. So I wanted to catch up to see if this is true because I've had a few comments saying, oh, I've seen on another channel that the chip hasn't been turned on yet. Um, I've seen that there's an update for this new chip. Uh, the chip has, you know, the chip hasn't been launched yet. Okay, so I don't get this. Now, for me, okay, right. When they launched this speaker, all they did was brag about this AZ1 neural processing chip constantly. AZ1 neural processing chip, much faster than it there. It's going to be really, really fast, much faster than your models. Well, you know. When I tested it, it wasn't. And then all of a sudden, all this nonsense comes out about it not being switched on or needs an update before it can work. And even Craig, uh, Craig's Tech Talk, which is a, uh, I really respect his channel, but even he mentioned it on his channel. I did ask him for a comment to see if he had any more information on it, but he didn't answer me, unfortunately. But there we are. Um, so I think Amazon maybe trying to pull the wool over our eyes, okay? Because why would they not launch the speaker with his head AZ1 chip working, okay? Why brag about it so much? That's all they did was brag about it, brag about it. All their marketing and sales uh, pitches is all about the AZ1 processor. And to launch the speaker without having it switched on sounds very, very bizarre to me. So I think Amazon are trying to pull the wool over our eyes, telling us, Ooh, we haven't switched it on yet, that's why it's not fast. <laughs> I think they're talking out to their backside. Hello, I am from Amazon. The AZ1 chip hasn't been turned on yet. So anyway, I want, I want um, to see, because people are saying it's been turned on, now it's been switched on, it's been updated, blah, 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 blah. I don't say blah, blah, blah. Okay. And they reckon it's been switched on, so therefore it should be faster. So I'm going to compare the speed to this now in my, from my last video I did on this to see if it has if it has gone any faster. In my last video, I wanted to try out the microphones to see how well they responded in a loud situation like a party. So what I did, I got the speaker playing music at volume seven, and I set up a vacuum cleaner to mimic the party. So I used the uh, I used the wait word five times to see how many times it responded in those five times I asked it. Okay, it didn't do very well in the last video. Uh, the Echo Plus knocked it out of the park. Okay, beat it hands down. So let's see if they have updated the chip and let's see if it's working better than it was before. So, no changes there really. Exactly the same as last time. It doesn't respond any better than it did before. Um, if you want to check out the other video, I'll just put a link here and in the description box below. So you can check out that test and see how well the Echo Studio and the Echo Plus did against it. So, the next test I did was to see how fast it switched on from the off position. In 
my first video, it took 43 seconds to turn on. In this test, it took 49 seconds. <laughs> so it's gone slower, not faster. What's going on? The world's gone mad! <laughs> so, that test didn't work at all. So, so far, it's not going well for the Echo 4th Gen. The last test I did on these speakers was to see how fast they turn the light on. So, let's see if this can do any better. <laughs> turn on lamp. Okay, so in my initial test, it turned the light on in 1.02 seconds, which was the slowest out of the three speakers. And would you believe it? It did it in 1.07 seconds this time. I don't get it. So rather than being fast, it's actually slower than it was when I first had it. It's just, ah. so no. This AZ Neo 1 processor either isn't working as well as it should, it should be, as they claimed, or as they are now saying, that it hasn't been turned on. Whatever. Whatevs. Okay. If it is turned on at any point, and I do see some improvement in speeds and microphones, I will get another video and I'll put it up. I'll be the first one to show it, okay? Well, I'll try to be anyway. The only thing going for the speaker is the improved sound. And I have to say, um, I've had the speaker now for a few weeks and speakers do need time to bed in a little bit. And I've got to say the bass is better, it's more punchy rather than boomy. Uh, the high ends are much better. The sound overall is great. It's not the loudest speaker you'll ever hear, but the sound is much better than the third gen and the Echo Plus. Really, really good sound on it for the size of the speaker it is. So that's the only thing going for it. So if you don't care about a few milliseconds here and there, of the microphone not working now and again, well, the, you know, the sound is worth it, I would say. I'm still going to keep the speaker, I think the sound is great. And when I get another one, probably I want to see how they sound stereo paid. Anyway, that's my test done. The AZ Neural 1 processor, if it is on, it's a pile of crap, okay? And if it isn't on, come on Amazon, turn it on! And don't forget, if you like this video, hit that like button, come on, give it a little tickle, okay? And don't forget, subscribe! Okay, thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.